A pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. <laughs> That's better. What can you tell us about the characters you play? Okay, so what I can tell you about Ember is that she is a girl made of fire who lives in this place called Element City. She is very fiery, obviously, very passionate, very quick-witted, super hard worker, a little prickly at times, but deep down she's a softie. She's very loyal to her family, so it's kind of interesting when she meets this water person that arrives into her life because she doesn't really know what to do with it. Did you like my imitation of water? <laughs> <laughs> Wade is water and he is open-hearted. Some would say to a fault, I disagree. I think he's full of life and always searching for the positive and the best in people and he tries to bring it out of them as well as himself. So, He's a favorite. sweetie. He's a sweetheart. He's a sweetie. He's a sweetheart. Cheers. Cheers. God. <laughs> How did you get the roles? Got a call had a wonderful meeting with Pete, and I was like, I just want to work with this guy, and this story seems so similar to my life and my family's life, and so, elements, I mean, and forgive the pun. I actually got a call from Pete. Um, he had actually watched a film that I did, and there was a lot of voiceover in it, but interesting enough, he shared with me a detail that he went on my Instagram and saw this like sketch that I made. It was a pretty similar scene, um, so one that is in the film, and then we just did a Zoom meeting, and then we actually came to the Pixar Studios to do an audition what? for six hours. At the end of my audition, they told me in the room. I was like bawling my eyes out, and I was like, there's no way. So it was, it was pretty cool. That is, I'm, I'm happy for you, but I'm so jealous. I didn't even tell you that <laughs> until now. Amazing. It was It was pretty surreal. That's so cool. It's so rare to get the job in the room as well. I know, and I was like, is this taboo? Like, should you guys be doing this? Yeah. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. What is an inspiration point that Pete gave you to kind of create the voice and sound of your characters? I would have never expected I think I'm, look, I think I'm the right guy for the part, but um, <laughs> I typically don't hear this kind of character of my kind of, like a deeper voice and everything. And he saw some of my work and he was like, yeah, this kind of openness is perfect for Wade and I think you're the guy for it. So he kind of just encouraged me to be me with obviously some, you know, direction. In my case as well, what he casted me off of was basically a lot of the tendencies that I have in general. And my voice, you can get up here, but it can also get kind of like down here. And it has a bit of a woody raspiness to it. So if anything, there would be some times that we would be in the booth and he'd be like, okay, do that a bit more. Cause that sounds like Ash and fire. He's like, oh, give me Ash. I'm like, how do I do that's so cool. Ash? <laughs> like, I'm like, I guess that's kind of ashy, but it's cool. Cause yeah. I feel like they really played on what our voices already sound like yeah. and what our personalities are like too. 